Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, 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 Daniel, Edgar. Hello, hello Berenice, Michael. Yes, yes. Good evening. <laughs> okay, good to see you. Hey, I thought you were not going to show up today. My name, we believe in you. Sorry? <laughs> well, it's because um, well, I, I noticed that there, are, there some people have been uh, having some problems with the platform. I don't know why. Okay, but fortunately, well, I have like two, four people and still waiting for the rest. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do. As always, so I want you to be awakened. I want you to pay special attention, to be concentrated, to try to do your best, to, to have a cup of coffee with you so that you can uh, stay connected with the class. <laughs> okay, now you just have a lot of, lot of people over here, right? so it's getting better. Have eight people. I don't know, is, is it raining there, people? Is it raining at home? Not really? Today, no. No, well, it's because we hit raining. It is raining, but not that heavily. So I hope we're not going to have any problem tonight. Okay, so. Well, welcome, everyone. I will check list attendance. Okay, I always like to register uh, the participants come. Just on time, okay. So, right. okay, today is Tuesday, July the eleventh. Okay, Aidan, Belen, Aidan, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Aidan is there, pretty good. Belen, Claudia, Daniel. Present teacher. Good. Dina, Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan, Maria Elba, Cristobal, Berenice, My teacher. Good. Aníbal, Angel, and Michael, right? Yes, yes, uh, Michael's yes. there, right? Aníbal, okay. eh, Norma, Oscar, Ronan, Teresa, and Veraliz. Teacher, hello, hello. Reyes, hello? Present, Nantical Reyes. Ah, okay, pretty good. Edgar, right? Yes. Give me a second, please, Edgar. Edgar, sorry, here, good. And also, there are least, and I, I, there, I think there are some people in the chat. Ah, okay, Oscar. Okay, I got your message, Oscar. I'm so sorry to, about it. And I hope you, your mother is getting better. Thanks for being over here. So, um, and Gladys is also here. Welcome, Oscar Gladys. Good. So, hope 
uh, that you are okay and that you are ready to start a new class. So, you know, this is the second uh, day of the week. And so actually we are in the last part of the course, right? So we have been working together for about three weeks. And I hope these three weeks uh, uh, have helped you to improve, right? So that's what I'm looking for. And that's what you are looking for over here, right? So that's why you get connected every single night and do your best, okay? So we're gonna go over uh, some activities. You know, tonight I will try to work with something new. Okay, so we we went over the present simple. We started positive, negative, interrogative, just no questions, double H questions. Same happened with present continuous, okay? And well, we have been studying a lot um, of information uh, deeply in detail, right? So yesterday was quite good because you put yeah. you could put into practice what you have been uh, studying lately or during this this month. Okay, so fortunately, um, let me see. I have only nine people. Fortunately, okay, Norma is just getting into the class. And that's good. Okay, we're gonna start. You know, the topic for tonight's a different one, right? Okay. We're gonna go directly to it. This this is you know, this is the last quick, right? So the activities that we have to be working on are related to uh, certain topics. Now, for example, tonight we're gonna talk a little, or we're gonna learn some expression on how to report a problem, okay? You know, in your, in your, um, in the place you work, sometimes the, the, there are some um, situations that need to be solved, right? So, and the, you are there because you are capable to do such tasks, right? So later, well, tomorrow we're gonna be like working on how to use would like to and so on, right? Later, we're gonna talk about polite and formal request. Uh, then we're gonna learn how to use kin for informal request. And well, we're gonna see some review. Okay, so we're gonna practice, right? Remember that whenever we have practice, whenever we, we get into this part, you need to present something, right? Something that let us know that you have been working or that you have been learning the topics during the week, okay? So, but this is going to be for, I think it's gonna be for Friday, okay? Friday, okay. And also you have the final exam this week. So we have a lot of, a lot of work to do, okay? So before starting, I don't know if you is if somebody wants to say something. Yeah. I don't know if you have something to say just before going to the to the class itself. Maybe you wanna you wanna uh, share something that you have learned lately. A uh, motivational quote, an expression that you have learned lately. Uh, let me see. I will ask. Uh, Daniel, what have you learned lately? Hoy, eh, es que me acordé de una canción de, de mi época, Time After Time, de Cindy Looper. Time After Time. Y siempre time había tratado de adivinar, time. ajá, que quería decir Time After Time. time Yo decía after... tiempo después de tiempo, pero es una y otra vez, right. Time After Time. Oh, wow, so Time After Time. Now, Berenice, did you learn... <laughs> Thank you, uh, yeah. Daniel. Okay. Only that, or did you learn something else? Only, so less. <laughs> oh, oh, time after time. Okay, time after time. okay. You, you, you were very romantic this afternoon. Then <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Let us know about what you've learned lately. Everybody, be ready, okay? Be ready because I will ask. 
Permítame que lo anote y ya lo olvide. Ok, Michael. Ok, Mike, whenever you get ready, let us know, eh, Berenice. Michael? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Yeah, let us know about what about the expression you learned today. Uh, so much. <laughs> Tengo varios, pero no hay cual preguntarlo. Okay, think about it. Think, think, Michael. Push, push, push. What What's the meaning of it? Come on, you say. Uh, uh, li listen, we, we, I'm asking about the expression that we have been learning lately, okay? Mm. Or maybe you were practicing pronunciation, or maybe you got a new word. Recuérdense que casi, casi hemos estado eh, aprendiendo alguna frase, una palabra nueva antes de entrar a la clase. Mm -hmm. Y pues creo que es una buena práctica para iniciar también. So, si han aprendido algo, pues mm -hmm. ahorita estoy preguntando justamente por eso. Daniel... Por ejemplo, hoy estaba escuchando la canción Time After Time y no sé, quizás este... Ahora bueno, tengo le... una que... Ok, que Michael. Ok, Michael, go ahead. Este, brain, brainstorm. Ah, to brainstorm. Yeah. Where's that? Yeah. Where's that, Michael? Yeah. Yeah, lluvia, de, lluvia de ideas. Exactly. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. To brainstorm. Uh -huh. Good. Ok, Berenice, are you ready now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, let us know about the expression, okay? Everything helps when you accept it. Everything helps when you accept it. Hey, that's quite fantastic, right? But you need to accept, right? Excellent. Mario Cristobal? Yes? Yeah, let us know about an expression that you learned. Eh, repite <risas> Cristóbal, I don't know Recuérdense que todos los días Hay que aprenderse una expresión en inglés ¿Ok? Y esa eh, mm -hmm. Si no la pregunta en una clase Yo voy a estar preguntando Pero voy a estar preguntando <coughs> A modo de saber qué es lo que aprendieron cada día ¿Ok? Algo que no quizás no vimos en clase Pero que a ustedes les llamó la atención Y lo aprendieron ¿No Mario? So si no not ready, so be ready for tomorrow. Si no está listo ahorita, prepárense porque mañana voy a seguir preguntando por esto, ¿ok? Uh, is there anybody else? Oscar. Aidan. Ronan. Anybody from the group? Well, think about it. Think about it. Well, listen, we're going to go over the topic. Okay, so I have something over here. I will share uh, this link. Okay, so that you put it into practice. That Remember that the topic for tonight. What is the topic for tonight? Do you remember? I will share, I will share link into the WhatsApp group. Okay, and also I will share it in the group. Okay, in the what in, in the chat. So now you can see you can see it in, in both places, right? So the conversation, the conversation we're gonna see that well actually there there are like let me see one, two, three conversations are here. And yesterday I told you, right, that we're gonna practice um fluency. And at the same time, I will try to introduce the topic, okay? So the topic that we need to study tonight, okay? So we're going to learn a lot of phrases. We're going to identify some problems that we face every day in a, in a companies, in the place we, we, were, we work, okay? But, well, we're going to go over this. Okay, listen carefully, please, because I will play and you will repeat. 
I will play it. You will repeat. We're going to do it only with one of them. Later, we're going to go over the next ones, but we're going to listen to them only. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So let's see. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Okay. So listen and repeat. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Can you, can you say it a little bit quickly? Lo pueden decir lo más rápido que puedan. Alguien que, que, nos, que, que nos ayude. I need, some, uh -huh. okay. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Okay, I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Good. Now let's go over the next. What's wrong with it? Uh huh. What's wrong with it? Excellent. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Then. For some reason, it's just not connecting. Uh huh. For some or, reason, it's just not connecting. For some reason, it's just not connecting. All right. Let's see the next. How long have you been having this problem? All right. How long have you been having this problem? Okay. How long have you been having this problem? Okay. Next one. It hasn't been working the past few days. It hasn't been working the past few days. It hasn't been working the past few days. Next one. Does the internet come up at all? Does the internet come at all at all? Does the internet come up at all? Good. It does, but it won't connect to anything. Uh huh. It does, but it won't connect to anything. It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. With your connection, all right? So, well, the internet is down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Okay, the internet isn't now, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Good. Could you send someone to fix it today? Uh huh. Could you song, send one, someone to fix it today? Could you send? Could you send someone to fix it today? Okay. Good. I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. All right. I sell somebody over right, right away for the fix it. I send somebody over right away to fix it. Okay, so we're missing two only, right? Listen. When will they be here? Uh huh. When will they be here? When will they be here? They should be there. In the next hour, next hour. They should be there in the next hour. All right, so that's a conversation. Now, what, what is the conversation all about, people? What is the conversation all about? It's about internet connecting problem. Okay, it's about internet problems, right? So what's the problem? What's it, the problem? It isn't connect connecting. It, it's just not connecting, right? So the answer is over here. Okay. Uh, how long ha has the person been having the problem? The past few days. The past few days. Okay. Now, one expression that you can you can use to to say that something doesn't work is this: it won't connect, it won't work, it won't topen, it won't turn on, it won't. Okay, so it won't, it won't function. 
Okay, so one expression that you have there. Okay, now how how is the person uh, how is the person going to to solve the problem? How is the lady uh, solve the problem? How does the lady solve the problem? The answer is there, right? The internet isn't down. Yeah, actually, yeah, but how how is the lady solve the problem? Because the who who has the problem, the boy or the girl? Who has the problem? with internet is that a boy or is that a girl who has the problem with internet it's a boy right the boy says hey i need somebody to come over me and fix my internet yeah but how is the lady solve the problem the one that's in that um that's helping How is she solve the problem? How is she going to solve the problem? ¿Cómo va a solventar la, la, la dama que aparece en, el, en la llamada? ¿Cómo va a solventar? ¿Cómo va a so resolver el problema? In, I'll send somebody over right away. Okay, that's it. excellent, Michael. She's going to, or she will send somebody yeah. over right, right away to fix it. Okay, so we're going to listen to it. Okay, once again, okay, and then I will ask two people to read it, okay? Here we go. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. All right. <clears throat> so, listen carefully. I will ask the people to read it at once. Then we're going to go over the next part, okay? Uh, let me see. Ah, Teresa. Okay, Teresa. Thanks for participating. Teresa, uh, could you please read read Aidan and Teresa would be uh, really nice. Aidan, can you help me to read and Teresa? Aidan, are you there? Teresa, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yeah, Aidan, do me the favor to read the first part, then Teresa, you continue. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Hey, maybe Teresa has problems with her microphone. I don't know. Okay, now Gladys, can you help Aidan, please? Okay. Thank you. What, what's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connection. How long so have you been having this problem? It has uh, been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Will. The internet is down, so there must be some time wrong with your connect connection. Could you send someone to fix, fix it today? It'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They shall be there in the next hour. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, 
Listen, everyone, I will try to help you with a couple of words. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. Connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It has been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet is down, isn't down. So there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? Uh, I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When, uh, when will they be here? They should be here in the next hour. Okay. I don't know. Any question about pronunciation? Now, listen, I told you, right? Tonight, it's, it's, it's going to be a night for you to practice. ¿Qué es lo que necesito que, que trabajemos en? Bueno, después que les muestre algunas frases de cómo, uh, cómo qué decir en una situación eh, para solventar uh, algún problema, digamos, en el trabajo. Okay, pero ya luego voy a solicitar que lo practiquen por unos 10, 15 minutos, de modo que lo digan con pronunciación correcta y... y con fluidez, ok? Necesito que lo digan con fluidez. Uh, second, second situation. Vamos con la segunda. Ok? Now, listen carefully. This one, we're going to listen to it only. And then, uh, well, I will ask some questions about the situation. Ok? It's something related to the same topic, but listen. I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come up at all? It just won't connect to a web page, but it will pop up. There's obviously a problem with your connection. I'm going to need someone to come and fix it for me. I can send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them to get here? They'll be there in about an hour. All right, so now, do you notice that the conversation is like, uh, I think it's a little longer. Okay, so in, what is the conversation all about, people? It's the same situation, right? Internet connection is... Internet uh, connection, yes. Yeah, internet connection is not working in this situation also. Right, so you have first, second, and we're going to go over the third one. Now, here we go. Can you send someone to fix my internet? Are you having a problem with it? My internet is having problems connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been messing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even pop up? It'll pop up, but it won't connect to a web page. Since the internet isn't broken, your connection must be messed up. Do you think you could send somebody over to fix it? If you'd like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be till they get here? It should be no longer than an hour. It should be no longer than an hour, right? So, uh, also, internet connection, right? Okay, so, problems with it. Okay, so, there are some expressions, okay? Now, like, can you send someone to fix my internet? Okay. Let me see if it is the same over here. Ah, look at this one. I need to get my internet fixed. Look at the other one. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. So it's the same situation, right? So what did the other lady answer? Uh, what, what did the other person answer? What's wrong with it? Let's see the next one. So what's the problem with your internet? Take a look at the next. Are you having a problem with it? So you, you see the same topic, but with three different uh, expressions, three different uh, oral conversations that are different, right? So then what happened? What happened? Okay, then the person informed. What's the problem? For some reason, it's just not connecting. That is the problem, right? For some reason, it's not just, just connecting. Look at it. It won't connect. So it's, the person is saying the same, 
but with a deep by using different expressions, right? And look at the third one. My air, my internet is having a problems connecting. So it's actually the same situation, okay? Uh, but by using different words, I mean. And then what did the other person answer? Look, then the next person say, uh, how long the person asked questions about the problem? How long have you been having this problem? Look at the next one. How long has this been happening? And look at the next. Can you tell me how long your internet has been missing up? Okay, so what 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 are we discovering now? That we have the, the same three situations, and actually it's almost the same conversation, but uh, you know, they are using different different expressions. So that's why I decided to share that um link so that you can practice the three of them. But before doing so, we're going to see some expressions, okay? Ooh, some expression that we can learn. Machine problems, okay? Now, let me see. I will share the link also in the, in the what's over here in the chat and in the WhatsApp group also. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to try to get some, some notes Okay, there you are. Yeah, it's all here, right? So in that page, you know, we have some more expressions, okay? Like, it says, listen to the entire lesson. There are many things, many things to say while in the office. Something can go wrong with the printer or you could be wondering why a package didn't arrive. The next several lessons will be about basic office, office scenarios, okay? Now, and we have some, some expressions, right? So to talk about problems, okay? Common problems that we face maybe, in this case, is in an office. In the previous one, um, what's the problem in the conversations, people? What was the problem in the conversations? Hello, hello. Uh, no connection, the internet. Excellent. There, there was no connection with internet. Now in here we're going to see some some other examples, right? Such as examples such as. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Uh huh. Can you can you can somebody help me to repeat? Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Can you say it? Can somebody say it in the group? Now, hey, tonight is, is the night in which we're going to practice our speaking. Queremos practicar nuestro speaking. Do you know? Okay, ya, ya, ya hemos platicado al respecto que este, es necesario que todos, que todos practiquemos, okay? Now, do you know what's wrong with the printer? Okay, as you can listen, you, the person says printer, right? Printer, but you can say printer also. There's no any problem. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Printer. No. <laughs> okay. Can somebody re repeat? Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Okay, pretty good. Do you know what's wrong? What's wrong with the printer? Listen. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? What's wrong? Okay. Next one. Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, let's try to say it a little bit faster. Who who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, can you try? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, can you who say? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, now, anybody who else? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? What do we call to report a problem with the printer? What do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, anybody else in the group? Oscar? Well, I, I think it's better if I, if I ask some people to repeat, okay? Voy a pedirles algunos que estén repitiendo, okay? 
Let me see. Uh, Oscar? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay. Who? Oscar, who? Who do we? Who do we? Who do we call? Call. Who do we call? Who do we call? Who? Who do we call? Who do we call? To report. To report a problem. A problem with the printer. With the printer. Okay, Oscar, you will say by your own and at once. Lo va a decir usted solito y lo y lo va a tratar de decir así como lo escucha. Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay. Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Okay, it sounds Who better. Who do we call Oscar. to report a problem with the printer? Excellent. Now it's getting better. Ya se fijaron que nada más unas dos, tres veces que él lo repitió, cada vez se le oye mejor. Ok, eso es lo que yo necesito, que, 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 que pierdan el temor a, a, a equivocarse, a decirlo mal, porque poco a poco se va mejorando, ok? Listen to the next one. When is the printer going to be fixed? Ronan? When is the printer going to be fixed? When is the printer going to be fixed? Ronan, are you there? So Ronan has problems. I can see you are facing problems with your microphone, Ronan. I'm sorry. Okay, let us know when you fix it, okay? Right, let's see. Uh, Claudia? When is the printer going to be fixed? Yeah, Ronan, don't worry. I could notice you're facing problems with microphone. Okay, uh, Gladys? When is the printer going to be fixed? When is the printer going to be fixed? When is fixed. the printer going to be fixed? Fixed. Uh, fixed. Sé que no he enseñado esto porque todavía no... Ah, bueno, en, en básico sí vimos el pasado. Pero aquí esto sería un, un, no es verbo, sino que es un adjetivo. Pero la pronunciación sigue siendo la misma. Ok, fixed, fixed. Fixed. When is the printer going to be fixed? Ok, traten de memorizar algunas frases porque ya pronto van a trabajar en conversaciones. Ok. Ok, por eso es que voy un poco lento en esta parte. No crean, miren, aquí tengo más actividades, muchas más actividades. Y tengo preparado por acá una presentación, pero me interesa que vayamos eh, aprendiendo. ¿Okay? Si no logro cubrir con las actividades que tengo ahora, pues las incluimos mañana. When is the printer going to be fixed? Necesito que, necesito que practiquemos el speaking. The printer next to the break room is broken. Where is the other printer? Ok. Anybody in the group? The, the printer, printer next, next to the break, to the break room, room is broken. Is broken. Where is the other, the other printer? printer? Okay, the printer. Aquí él creo que lo pronuncia printer. Printer. The printer next yeah, to the printer. break room is broken. Where is the other printer? Okay. Si se recuerdan, aquí creo que él dice printer. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Okay. Ya ven, ambas pronunciaciones están bien. The printer next to the break room is broken. Where is the other printer? Okay, now Daniel, you said it, right? The printer next to the break room is broken. Where is the other printer? Yeah, Listen to the next one. The copy machine is jammed again. The, the copy, copy machine, machine is jammed is again. again. The copy machine is jammed again. Uh huh. The copy machine is jammed again. Yeah. The copy machine is broken. Anybody in the group? I mean, I, I know, yo sé que todos están repitiendo en casa, ¿verdad? Pero me gustaría que alguien abriera el micrófono y lo repitiera. The copy machine is broken. The copy, the copy machine, machine is broken. Good, the copy machine is broken. 
The copy machine is broken. Copy machine fixed. We need to get the copy machine fixed. We need to get the copy machine fixed. Good. We need to get the copy machine fixed. Technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. A technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. All right. A technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. A technician. A technician. Is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. All right. Where is the paper for the copy machine? Where is the paper for the Where copy the machine? Where is the paper for the copy machine? Where is the, Where's the paper? paper? Where is the, paper for, Where is the, the paper for the copy machine? Good, good. We need to order more paper. We're running low. We need to order more paper. We're running we low. We need to order more paper. We're running low. We need to order more we paper. We need to order more paper. We're running low. We're running low. All right, yeah. let me see. No, I, I think, well, there are more. Okay, I just tried to introduce, but there are some other situations and you will see. Excuse me for the for this out. Okay, so we have some others over here. Like mail room. Okay, listen to the, 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 the uh, listen. Okay, so there are some for large for larger companies, size companies, as a mall room is provided where each employee has their own box. Here are some sentences you might need to know. Example, where's the mall? Where's the mail where's room? The, where's the mail room? The mail room. I don't have a mailbox. Who should I contact to get one? Your mailbox was pretty full. You should go pick them up. I haven't checked my mail in two weeks. I never receive anything, so I don't need to check my mail often. Okay, so, well, actually, and we can continue over here because there are some others, I think. Okay, there are some other, like, for example, I can send, I can send it to you through internet office mail. Now, you see, I can send it to you through inter-office mail. I'll send it through inter-office mail immediately. All I owe it to you. I need those documents. Can you I owe it to me? Would you like to pick them up, or should I send it through inter-office mail? Okay, so, and you can get, like, some others. As you can see, it says next to it here. So, you can continue, okay, because there are some others. Okay, but let me see. We're gonna try to work with some of them. Now, coming back to these uh, conversations, okay, now you know that there are certain expressions that we can use when facing a problem, right? So also we study some other expressions over here. Now we're going to go directly to the activities in the PDF, okay? In the PDF, in the page 39, uh, sorry, page 39, you will encounter this conversation, okay? So in this conversation, we have, it's a, this is a very short one, right? It says, good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, uh, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Now, what are we going to do now? Uh, we are going to uh, check some problems that we may face in our job. Okay. Vamos a hacer un listado. Okay. Aquí aparecen en la página 39, aparecen ciertos. Uh, problemas que se pueden enfrentar en el, el lugar de trabajo ok, ustedes eh, eligen cuáles posiblemente ustedes enfrenten en, en sus lugares de trabajo y luego hacen su propia lista ok, de los problemas que pueden enfrentar en el lugar de trabajo ok, ¿cuánto tiempo vamos a gastar en esto? 
vamos a hacer una lista de por lo menos seis, seis uh, situaciones que puedan surgir en el trabajo. ¿Ok? Now, you may face some problems with the new software. Maybe uh, there's no internet access at a company. Maybe you got a virus in your computer system. <laughs> Or you deleted some files. Or maybe the paper got stuck in the printer. Or the USB ports out of order. Or there is a funny noise in the CPU. Or <laughs> you got a frozen screen. That's disgusting, right? So then you have like two, four, six, eight. Tienes ocho situaciones acá. De estas ustedes eligen alguna que, que pudieran enfrentar en sus lugares de trabajo y luego hacen su propio listado de seis situaciones. Okay, we're going to spend 10 minutes on this. Ok, 10 minutos. Vayan tomando apuntes porque van a, van a, van a crear una situación, una conversación. Ok. So you have 10 minutes. Is it clear? No questions, people? Questions? 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 Any question about what to do just right now? No question. Okay, so let us work on it. Ten minutes, okay? Ya luego nos van a explicar qué situaciones son las que posiblemente uh, se enfrenten en algún momento en su lugar de trabajo. Ten minutes, okay? Preparen lo que van a decir al mismo tiempo, okay?
Okay, three minutes more. Hope that you are almost ready with it. Okay, I hope everybody participates in this part, okay? Now, let's see if there is somebody ready now. Okay, I need some participants to explain or to let us know about some problems you may face in the workplace. Okay, in my workplace, uh, sometimes I don't have internet access. The paper is stuck in the in printer. The new software doesn't work. My computer, it doesn't send to work. My printer is does not to run. My phone does not ring. And the battery does not to run. Okay, thank you. Doesn't turn on. Thank turn you, on. Daniel. Very good. Okay, now, uh, I don't know. Anybody else is ready to share info? I have issues with my tools. I don't internet access. And sometimes the load is very slow with my tools. I froze in my screen. My headset fixes no connecting. And the mute does not work well. I need to make a clear crutches. Okay, now, pretty good now. Well, uh, start thinking about what, what you do to solve the problem. Okay, los que ya participaron, empiecen a pensar cómo decir eh, en inglés la manera en que resuelven esos problemas, okay? Okay, anybody else in the group? Michael? Yes. <laughs> Not ready yet? Uh, yeah, a little. Okay, let us know uh, about it. In my workplace, I don't have internet access. And I need a new software. We need CP, CPU, USB, printer, and internet access. That's it. Internet access. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Michael. No, don't have nothing in my workplace. You have nothing there. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. so you need a lot of uh, things. <laughs> I need all, all the access. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maribel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maribel. Are you ready? Mm. Um. You need some more time? Sorry, uh, listening or uh, to the 
You cannot listen that well. Or maybe you have technical problems, Maribel. Well. Es okay. que todavía estoy haciendo algo de, del trabajo, que tengo un reporte que tengo que presentar mañana. Lo tengo que, que tener ahora a las 10 de la noche. Ah, ok, Maribel, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, estoy, but I guess, pero I guess... estoy, solo estoy escuchando. Ah, ok. Teacher, lo okay. siento. Ok, don't worry. Ok, uh, anybody in the group? Ok. I have in here, for, yeah. exam for example, I have in here Aníbal, Claudia, Edgar, Mario, Norma, Jonathan, Cristóbal, Edgar, Claudia. Ok, I, I, I need you to participate. I, well, Aidan already participated, but... You can do it again. You can participate as many times as you wish. Teresa, Maria Elba, Belen. I haven't heard the word tonight. Well, we're gonna get back. We're going to get back, okay, and see. Now, for example, from from these ones, what are some of the problems that you are that you face at your workplace? Can you mention some? Well, uh, I heard Daniel has problems with uh, having the paper stuck in the printer. Is that right, Daniel? Yes, it's right. Okay, what is is there another problem that that's over here in the in the chart that you that you face at work? Uh, well, I turn off the printer and save the pipe the paper. Oh, that that's the way you solve the problem. Okay, yes. <laughs> excellent, pretty good. All right. No, but from this one, no no more problems. Now, for example, uh, ha have you had problems with uh, an old software? Well, uh, the new Ma software. Uh... Michael said it, right? So that he needs a new software, right? I hear Michael also said that there is no internet uh, connection. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Have you ever had a problem with a virus? Not really. Have you ever deleted files mistakenly? No, no, alguna vez no han borrado algunos algunos documentos por error y ya no los pudieron recuperar. <laughs> no. Is reports out of order? Or maybe you're, you're there's a funny noise in the CPU. And I, I heard somebody said uh, he or she had a, fr a frozen screen, right? So what to do to solve these problems? Okay, what to do to solve this problem? What should we do to solve this problem? ¿Qué hacen cuando enfrentan estos problemas? Well, Daniel already mentioned the solution for um, having the paper. The paper is stuck in printer. Yeah. But what, what do you do when you face problems at your workplace? Well, that's what we need to, to work on tonight, okay? So now we can, we, we, we have some problems. I mean, we have some expressions, sorry. Some more expression that we can use, the ones that the PDF presents. One of them, hey, I would like to report the problem, right? Ways to report the problem. Well. Actually, when you are in your workplace, one of the uh, the most common uh, ways to solve problems is to call the technician, right? Okay, there is there is maybe support. there you have a, a technical support, right? So that you, you you just call the technician and say, you know what, I'm facing problems or I'm having problems with the internet. I have no internet connection could you please come and solve the problem okay so that will be one of them right but there are certain expressions that you can use to report the problem okay we like i would like to report the problem 
So you can repeat it at home. I would like, I would like to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I would like, like to report, report an issue. issue. I have trouble with. I have trouble with. Yes. There are some other common issues to report, such as it doesn't seem to work. It does, it does not, seem, not to seem to work. It does not seem to work. It makes a, a strange, funny noise. It makes a strange, it funny, funny noise. It doesn't turn on. It doesn't not turn on. Yeah, sorry, it does not turn on. Yeah, it doesn't turn. It does. Remember, you can contract, right? Recuerden, lo pueden contractar. It doesn't, it does not. All right. So eh, something that I, I noticed we need to clarify here is, is this is very important. Okay. So let's imagine we're talking about a printer. But voy, a, voy a aclarar algo por acá. Miren cuál. Aquí lo vamos a poner. Quiero verlo aquí. Vamos a ver negro. Okay. What happens? Imagínense si la oración fuera así. Ustedes me dirán, ¿estaría correcta sí o no? ¿Y por qué? Imagínense fuera the printer desde aquí, ¿verdad? The printer, it doesn't seem to work. ¿Estaría bien? Yes, the printer, it does not seem to work. Uh -huh. El impresor parece que no funciona. Yeah, no, but I mean, is the sentence, co is the sentence correct? ¿Está la oración, ¿Estaría bien la oración así? Yo quedaría que tal se lit. Ah, ok. Es que por ahí, cuando ah. ustedes dieron algunos ejercicios, me di cuenta que hay que aclarar esto, ok. So yo digo, the printer. Ya no necesita it. Ajá, porque esto es eso. O sea, no puedo decir the printer, the printer. ¿Ok? O digo the printer, o si ya sé de qué estoy hablando, solo digo it. ¿Ok? But I cannot say the printer, it does. No. No, no, no. You cannot say it that way. So you say the printer does not seem to work, or it does not uh, seem to work. But you, you, can, you can use both. No pueden usar ambos, porque entonces tendríamos doble sujeto. Oh, no. Ok. So, lo mismo acá. It makes a strange funny sound. If I say the CPU, it makes... No, we say the CPU or only it makes a strange funny noise. Ok, people. Ok. Ok. Now, over here, right? So, well... Uh, But now that you have, now that you have the list of the problems that you may face at work, okay, you can you can uh, write it down doing here, or you can type them there, okay. And well, I was, well, I'm I'm going, I'm going, or we're going to work in trios, okay. We're gonna work in trios. Vamos a hacer grupos de tres, okay para practicar las conversaciones. Pero en estas conversaciones, ustedes pueden tomar de ejemplo estas que hemos estado viendo. Pueden tomar ejemplo estas tres. Pueden tomar ejemplo eh, algunas frases que vimos esta noche. Ahí las tienen para estarlas escuchando. Where's the mail room? Uh, quiero ver esta sí, creo que no la vimos. No, esta no la vimos, pero... Aquí tenemos otra conversación, miren. Y tenemos muchas frases que aprender. Entonces, um, ¿qué van a hacer en su conversación? Bueno, van a recrear una situación de su trabajo y lo van a reportar. Así como lo han hecho estas personas. Van a reportar el problema, 
La otra le va a preguntar, bueno, ¿y cuál es el problema? Le, usted le va a explicar cuál es el problema. Y la otra persona va a seguir indagando, ¿ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo se está enfrentando este problema? ¿Ok? Um, ¿Cuál es el problema en sí? Etcétera, ¿verdad? Right? Y también van a proveer una manera de solventarlo en su conversación, ¿ok? Porque si bien es en el lugar de trabajo donde nosotros estamos, si, si bien es bueno decir cuáles son los problemas que enfrentamos, también es bueno saber cómo podemos solventarlo en inglés y en español, ¿ok? Ok, vamos a hacer los grupos. La intención es... De, de que trabajen en una conversación, ¿ok? Que, re, que, que uh, uh, nos muestren una situación en donde pueden ocupar las frases que hemos estado estudiando esta noche, ¿ok? Ok, so here we go. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Do we have... Okay, you have ten minutes. Diez minutos, ¿ok? Fifteen. Fifteen minutes, I think, would be all right. Algo que sí les voy, a, les voy a solicitar que traten de no leer, ¿ok? Traten de no leer. Let me see. Cuando presenten, traten de no leer. How many people, ok? Ok, so here we go. Any question, people? Well, we're going to go and work with it. Okay, so let's try to get it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, take advantage of time, people. Remember, you only have 15 minutes to get ready with that conversation, okay? Okay. Okay. Gladys, Norma. Hola, me escucho. Eh, y la otra que tenía era the new software does, doesn't work. O sea, no me funciona el nuevo software. I call to tech support or I restart my computer. A ver, no sé si usted tiene algunas también por ahí. Sí, Bárbara. Yo primero siempre tengo que mandar primero un mensaje a mi jefe, que es a the first and a message to my boss. Ok, people, hello, hello, Edgar, eh, Jonathan, Vera Liz, are you there? Hola, teacher, ellos okay. están de oyente según lo que veo. Entonces estoy haciendo mi diálogo yo solita. Ok, that's perfect, Vera Liz. Ok, so, mm -hmm. but it would be really nice if you, if you share your conversation in the chat at the end so that they can see or get some ideas. Ok. Bueno. Okay, thanks for doing your best. Vera Liz. Uh -huh. Gracias. Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Ronan, Maribel, Claudia, are you there? Well, 
Well, Maribel, I know she's well. I hope that you are that you are working in the conversation and practice, or maybe practicing one of the conversations. Claudia, can you listen to me, Ronan? Hello, hello, Ronan. Hello, hello, María, Oscar, Teresa. Hello, teacher. Creo que no escuchan. No sé. Creo que están oyendo. Ah, ok. So, eh, ¿está trabajando usted en alguna, en alguna situación, Oscar? Sí, sí, sí. Aunque sea individualmente, lo voy a presentar. Ok, excellent. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. Okay, okay. okay. Hello, hello, Aníbal, Belén, Michael, is everything all right? Uh, okay, Aníbal, I got it. Aníbal, creo que de oyente está porque ya no, no contestó. Belén, sí, está, está trabajando. Uh, okay, very good. Sí. Okay, remember you have 15 minutes and then we're going to get back to the class. Okay. Okay. Belén. Le podemos ir leyendo cada uno de nosotros la parte en A, B, A, B, en, ese, en, ese, en esa secuencia. Ajá. Pero ahí, ¿cuál, ¿cuál va a tomar usted? Pues somos, eh, como somos tres, ¿verdad? No sé si podemos. Vamos eh, a ver. Podría ser A. En la primera, primera, I need to get, get me my internet fix, fix. Uy. How long have you? How you be there? This problem. How you be having this problem? Bueno, eso me contestaría usted. Entonces tengo que poner yo. Uh -huh. No sé, unas. ¿Qué hace unas dos horas? Dos, ajá. I don't have access. A few hours. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, bueno, si es parecida a la que tenía en la conversación que nos mandó el teacher, le pudiera poner si me puede mandar a alguien para ayudarme. Can you? Sí. Pero es como tener el teléfono, todas las ventanas se me traban aquí. <risa> de acabar con el teléfono cuesta. Ya he estado conectado solo con el teléfono y me cuesta ahí. Ah, 
enfermedad en el llave y todo esto. Estoy grabada. Bueno, ahí sí le podría decir yo, eh, voy, a mandar, voy a enviar un mensaje para reportar eh, ese problema. Ok. Eh... Ok. Entonces sería igual tú saying a mes, message. ¿O ¿Cómo lo escribiste? I, I will send a mail for a report these issues. I will. Sends a email for report these issues. O this problem, no lo sé. No cual. Bueno, ¿y cómo se cree que le salga mejor contestar? Bueno, para no hacerlo tan largo, ok. I wait. Quiero ver. I wait for your help. Ahí voy a esperar por su ayuda. Bueno, bueno, por lo menos tenemos una, una conversación. <ríe> Que sea de dos minutos, que lo importante es que ya... <risa> Cabal, lo importante es que ya tenemos armada una. Cabal, no sé si quiere practicarlas porque, bueno, aquí no nos contestó Daniel. Eh, Mario. Mario no nos contestó. Perdón, ay, sí, sí, sí. <risa> ok, bueno. Daniel Carl tell supports. Good evening, how can I have you? I don't have uh, internet access. How long have you been having this problem? I don't have access a few hours. Oh, I will send an email for the report these issues. Okay, I wait for your help. Y así lo dejamos, y así lo dejamos. <laughs> Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Ok, thank you. <risa> ok, espérenme ahí, le vamos a decir. ¿Cómo dice? Ajá, es que a veces le dice como una que espere en línea. Sí, ajá, a ver, ahí me tienen ahí. Me Paso tienen como tres en línea, línea cabal. 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 Y así pasa a veces que lo mantienen aún en línea. A mí, por lo general, siempre cuando tengo issues así con... Yo trabajo con VPN, por lo general, cuando ya no tengo acceso, se frizan las pantallas o solamente me quedo con un monitor porque tengo dos. Ah. Mira, agarre sus cosas y vaya a separar el site. Esta es la única solución que me dan, así que primera decepción. Se tiene que trasladar entonces hasta la oficina. Sí, eh. me toca moverme. Sí, a veces por eso vengo tarde, porque me toca irme hasta allá. No, así me pasa a mí el... jueves, el jueves nos habían dado para trabajar desde casa pero la VPN que me instalaron no me funcionó y después de la clase mandé correo para ver si todavía estaba en los de DTI para que me ayudaran y no, no me contestaron así que el día siguiente mejor fui yo creo que lo podemos hacer en dos eh... Solamente una conversación por dos personas, de dos personas. Y lo podemos repetir para que participemos los tres. En una segunda ocasión, ya sea Gladys o yo, y en la primera ocasión, Norma y Gladys, puede ser. Oh, para, vaya, llevar como, para, para, llevar, para llevar como la secuencia, porque uno es la pregunta y otro la respuesta. Uh -huh. Que se puede visualizar, ¿verdad? Pregunta, respuesta. Pregunta, respuesta. Como que para que tenga concordancia. ¿Quién está preguntando? ¿Quién está respondiendo? Uh -huh. Si yo respondo en la primera, voy a preguntar en la segunda. Este sería. Sí, podríamos hacer así. Inicia, puede iniciar Norma. 
usted sería B, como que va respondiendo. Uh -huh. En ese orden podemos hacerlo. Si quiere, practiquemos otra vez. Ah. Creo que ya, ya nos va a... Ah, ya nos va a enlazar a la otra. Sí, sí. Podemos hacer así, entonces, eh, inicia Norma eh, en ese orden, y después usted, Gladys. En una segunda ocasión podemos hacerlo usted, Gladys, o Norma, no sé, y yo... En ese sentido, para que participemos do, dos y dos. All right, I think you had enough time, right? To practice conversation. Some expressions that we have been um, practicing tonight. Okay, so I, I I have the groups over here. I wanna listen to you. Okay, I have group number one, that's Aidan, Gladys and Norma, right? Okay. Okay, Aidan. Sí. One moment, please. Okay. So everybody, be ready, please. Everybody will participate, hopefully, right? Uh, Gladys and Norma. I'm here. Okay. Tomaremos de referencia la conversación que vimos anteriormente. Eh, primera, primeramente va a hacerlo Gladys, Norma y Gladys, y después Gladys y mi persona. Norma. Ahorita. Ahí en esto I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? I won't connect it. How long has this been happening? This problem has been happening for six days now. The internet doesn't come up at all. I I just won't connect it to with with pace, but it will fall out. There's obviously a problem with your connection. I'm going to need some to come. I fit it for me. I can't send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them to get here? They will be there in about an hour. Okay. 
estamos con Adán. Um, I need to get my internet fixed. Uh, what's the problem? Sí, escucha. Okay. What's, what's uh, the problem with your internet? It's one connect. How long has this been happening? This problem has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come, come up uh, at all? It just won't connect to a web page, but it will pop up. There obviously a problem with your connection. I am going to need someone to come and fix it for me. I can send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them, them to get her? They'll be there in about an hour. Finish Okay, pretty good. Now, keep practicing, okay? Keep practicing. El objetivo, miren, ya estamos a, a cuarta semana y recuérdense que ya prácticamente se van a mover a otro nivel de inglés. Necesito, necesito que guarden esto en sus mentes. Practicar más, fluidez, va a ir siendo más necesario cada vez, ¿ok? Si en sus técnicas de estudio ustedes uh, notan que les beneficia eh, memorizar, háganlo, ¿ok? Háganlo y apréndanse ciertas frases. Por lo menos en esa conversación hay, habían algunas frases que a lo mejor no las conocían y ahora sí ya las conocen, ¿ok? So hay que memorizarlas. Ok, thank you very much. Now let's see. Next, next group. Berenice, Daniel, and Cristóbal. Ok. <ríe> bueno, con Berenice tratamos de, estar, de hacer ahí dos conversaciones. Y Mario creo que estaba solo de oyente. Ok. I, I call to take support. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How can I help you? Yes, I don't have internet access. How long have you been the, having this problem? Well, I don't have access a few hours. Oh, I will send an email for report this problem. Ah, okay, okay. I wait for your help. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> bye, thank you. Y la And segunda, <ríe> la segunda también, me llamo a soporte técnico. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. You call the tech support. How can I help you? Eh, my, uh, the new software doesn't work. Oh, well, please you restart your computer. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what a solution, right? You can restart the, 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 the computer and that's it, right? And the finish. Okay. Okay, that was fantastic. Thank you very much, okay? So now, do me the favor to keep practicing, okay? Practice, practice over and over again. Time after time, right, Daniel? Yes, time after time. After time. time. So, so <laughs> practice. A lot, okay. So I know that the more you practice, the 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 the, the better speakers, English speakers, or English students you will become. Thank you very much for doing your best. I really love when you do when you try to do your best. Okay. Then we have Edgar, Jonathan, and Vera Liz. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, okay, it's all right, Vera Liz. Uh, sí. Este, en una llamada. Thank you for calling technical support. 
My name is Vera Liz. How can I help you? My name is Zach. I need to report a problem with my printer. What problem does it present to you? Doesn't print at, uh, pardon, paper chalk and doesn't print at all. I understand. At this time, I show the visit of the technician so that he can, they can help you. Okay, thank you. Awesome, that was quite good. Very nice. Thanks for, do, for doing your best effort. I really appreciate that. And, you know, uh, I, I, I can notice that you are improving in fluency pronunciation and that's quite good. Okay. Then I have, uh, let me see, Claudia Maribel and Ronan. Let us try with uh, Maria and Oscar. Y, igual, teacher, en mi caso, creo que los demás compañeros estaban de oyente. Así oh. que lo hice individual. Excellent. Go ahead, Oscar. Ok, el caso igual es con soporte técnico. Este, ok. Sería así. Good day, ET team. I am heavy problems with, the, with my PC. Good morning, Oscar. What is the problem? My PC is overheating a lot. The problem called because your PC is too old out the rant memory. is saturated. We recommend that you change the PC. Uh, code change my PC. At the moment, we don't have that. I think I'll be available. So you call, do you fall in? To solve the problem, close the program I don't use, clear catch it, uh, restart the pieces. Okay, thanks for the help. Finish. Okay, thanks for your participation. That's quite good. And you know what, Oscar? And this is for everybody, okay? Uh, keep practicing the conversations, okay? In the expression that we have been studying tonight. Manténganse practicando eh, las conversaciones, por favor. Por favor, porque este, um, así vamos a ganar mucha más fluidez todos, ¿ok? Eh, si ustedes se fijaron, Oscar encontró una palabra nueva o algunas palabras nuevas. ¿Cuáles fueron, Oscar? Y, por ejemplo, lo que estaba, permíteme, que aquí la, ah, caché, no sé si se dice caché, así como lo escribe. ¿Caché? Limpiar caché. Ah, Ajá. caché, yes, that's right. But Ajá, caché. I, uh, what about the word available or availability? Ajá, available, Ajá, available. What, what's available, eh, Oscar? Y creo que habilitar era, permítame, era... permítame que la nota y no me acuerdo. Que... Ok, because you know, that's quite important. Siempre se los he dicho. Cada palabrita es una moneda. Veámosla como una monedita. Ahí vean de qué material ustedes le ponen, si de plata o de oro. Pero hay que, hay que recoger esa palabra y hay que quedárnosla con nosotros. Ok, sí, porque Ajá, yo sí. noté. Ah, ok, Oscar. Ajá, disponible era. Ok, sí, very bien. good. Now keep it in mind, ok. Keep it in mind. And keep practicing, please, Oscar. Keep practicing a lot, ok. okay. Good. But that was quite good. Thank you, Oscar. And let me see. Uh, Aníbal, Belén, and Michael, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sí, este, 
Voy a poner la diapositiva o... ¿Cómo, no, cómo se dice? Solo dile. Ah, okay. Este... Y mandó la, la, el documento. Ok, voy a proyectar. Sí, porque se me salga de... de como estoy en el teléfono, se me pierde la... Me saca del todo. Ajá. Eh, comienzo yo entonces. Ya sé para que no te la dejo un par de minutos. Oh, my computer is not working. Really? What's going on? Eh, the screen is frozen and does not allow me to see my work. How do we try to rest it? Yes, but, but it still doesn't work. Okay, let's take it to clinical support to help this. Uh, how long will, will it take to fix it? About 30 minutes or more time. Uh, that's great. It's not a long, a long time. I need, I need to believe your, your report at the end is the day. Thank you for helping me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Okay, That's thank, thank you very much. Okay, that was quite good, quite fantastic. And, well, later on, <laughs> let me see, later on, uh, you are going to um, present the problems that you actually have at work okay uh, we try to do it tonight okay i try i gave you some time but only daniel and i, I don't know who was the other person who participated i would say it was very nice but i i consider it's quite important to go in in, in present the information okay so para el día de mañana yo necesito que todos se preparen con, con, con una pequeña presentación respecto a, a algunas situaciones que puedan estar o, o enfrentar en su trabajo eh, relacionado a cualquier problema técnico, ¿verdad? Y que nos, lo, no, nos comenten qué es lo que hacen ustedes para solventar ese problema. Esta noche tratamos de hacerlo, pero solo tuve como dos participaciones y yo considero que es necesario que todos participen, o por lo menos la mayoría. Ok, entonces lo voy a dejar de tarea. Lo voy a dejar de tarea. Ok, queda de tarea. En el caso de Daniel, Berenice, ok, pueden, pueden este, ampliar la información. Ok, uh, a modo de que pues, nos quede muy claro qué es lo que sucede. Recuérdense, plantear problemas que, que, que suceden en los lugares de trabajo y cómo se resuelven, cómo los resuelven en su momento. Ok, esa es la tarea. Okay. Eh, con eso iniciaríamos el día de mañana. Now, let's see. So, I think we're going to try to finish. Okay, we're, we have like 10 minutes. Okay. And... Now, this is our topic, right? Ways to report a problem. That's what we have been studying tonight. What are some ways to report a problem, people, that we learned today? What are some expressions that we learned to report a problem? Do you remember? Uh, call to tech support. Okay, now listen. Look at the look at the conversation. Okay, look. 
there are some expressions to report a problem. Okay. There are some in this conversation that you need to that you need to to have it clear and to if you if you want you you can memorize it, right? There is no any problem. Give me a second because I need to okay. Look at this one. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. This is this is one way, right? So that is one expression. For some reason, it's, it's just not connecting. What is the person doing? Reporting a problem, right? Look at the next one. I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem? It won't connect. This problem has been happening for a few days now. How to report a problem? Can you send somebody to fix my internet? My internet is having problems connecting. Okay. I've been having this problem for the last few days. So you have some examples there, right? So we saw some others over here. So that's why it will it will be really nice if you if you try to practice more about about them, right? So you have more over here, right? We we studied only two parts. Like, hey, do you know what's wrong with the printer? Do uh, who do we call to report a problem with the printer? When is the printer going to be fixed, etc.? You have some more expressions over here. So you have the link. You have the expressions. So time to put into practice what we have uh, practiced tonight. Okay. Now. This is this is the topic that we started tonight. We have the homework 16. As you can see, it says choose the correct response. So we're gonna work on it tonight. So tomorrow you will see, we're gonna start with your presentations, okay? Uh, Mike Hernandez, IT department. So what's, what, what would be the answer? in this conversation. Hello, this is Maria from accounting. Hello, this is Maria from accounting. I like to report a problem. What is the problem? What is the problem? How can I help you? I'd like to report like a problem with my computer. Yes. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What seems to be what what seems to be the problem, Mr. Campos? My computer doesn't turn on. My computer doesn't turn on. <laughs> it's a good reason to call it tech support. Funny noise in the CPU. There's a there's a funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. Okay, so do me the favor to work on it, please. Remember, this is the last week. Well, we're gonna we're gonna <clears throat> be together until the next Monday, right? So quiero asegurarme que por favor todos vayan, vayan trabajando en, en los en las actividades, pues antes de cerrar la la sesión, okay? Miren, nosotros la completamos en que en menos de eh, que cinco minutos. Entonces, sí me gustaría ver los avances a modo de que cuando ya vayamos por cerrar el, el curso, ya mmm, no tengamos problemas de que no hayamos terminado con los ejercicios. Ok. Así que, pues, terminemos. Mientras ustedes trabajan en el ejercicio, yo paso listo. Okay, Aidan. Thank you. Good, Belen. Claudia Veronica. Daniel. Present teacher. Good, Dina. I know Dina Present. is there. Okay, Edgar. Present teacher. Good, Gladys. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Jonathan. Jonathan is a is a is a, is a listener, right? Maria Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. I am there. Good. Michael. I'm here, teacher. Good. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. All right. Oscar. Present, teacher. Good. Ronan. Teresa. And Veralis. Present teacher. Excellent. Present teacher. Ter Teresa, are you here? Give me a second. Okay, Ronan is over here. Cristobal is over here. Maria Elba, all right. Belen, okay, Belen, and Jonathan, good. So Teresa Maria, good. Okay, people, tomorrow we're going to continue with one, with one expression, okay? Well, I know, I know that you put, put the expression into practice, but tomorrow we're going to go over it, and we're going to start the, study the expression in detail. Okay, thank you, Belen. <clears throat> I saw your message. I don't know, is there any question, people, about what's coming tomorrow or what to do during this week? No. ¿Cuáles son las actividades para, esta, para el día de mañana? Okay. ¿Quién me dice? Agregarle más información a la actividad que hicimos hoy, a la actividad de grupo. Excellent. Mejorar ahí un poquito la, la redacción y agregarle otras cosas para que se entienda más cuál es el problema y, y cuál es la solución. ¿Y cómo lo solucionan? Ok, si lo llaman a soporte técnico o, o ustedes mismos lo solucionan mm. o hay alguien que pues les ayuda ahí en el equipo de trabajo. ¿Cómo resuelven eso? Es lo que necesito que nos, nos digan en inglés, ¿verdad? Además de eso, ¿qué más les sugiero que hagan? Practice the conversation. Practice, practice. Practicar las conversaciones, ¿ok? Practicar yeah. conversaciones yeah. para el día de mañana. Eh, ¿Qué más tenemos para la semana? The final evaluation. Excellent, Michael. The final exam. Tenemos eso. Eso es sumamente importante. Eso es. Eh, Se recuerdan este cuando tuvimos el midterm. Yo estuve ahí diciendo es midterm, midterm. Uh, let us work on it. Let us work. Porque es necesario que nosotros, pues, más que todo el cierre es como más delicado porque nosotros nos toca, pues, estar ahí pendiente de que de que todo esté bien, que esté completo. Y si, digamos, hay alguien que no ha completado las actividades, pues allí, pues, nos vemos como nos retrasamos un poquito en informar, ¿verdad?, de los avances. Um, so, that's, that's for this week, right? Eh, todavía tenemos una práctica. Recuérdense que la vamos a dejar para el día, quiero ver, para el día viernes. Porque el lunes prácticamente ya vamos a cerrar, ¿ok?, nos vamos a ver hasta el día lunes, pero el viernes hay que hacer una práctica. Y cuando tenemos práctica, eh, recuérdense que ustedes preparan algo, un ejercicio, una lectura, eh, quizás una conversación, algo que a nosotros como, como equipo, porque recuérdense que somos un equipo, nos diga que ustedes efectivamente están tomando ventaja del, 
de los temas que desarrollamos en la semana. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que se nos tiene. Uh, no sé si hay preguntas. ¿Y lo del viernes sería en, en, en grupo o sería...? Lo dejo a Eso. criterio de ustedes, Michael. Si ustedes, digamos, eh, logran coordinar con tiempos, eh, con alguien acá en el grupo, lo pueden hacer en pareja, en grupos. Pero si no, pues, como yo sé que las realidades son diferentes, si usted dice, no, yo realmente no me puedo reunir, no, yo lo voy a hacer yo solito, me voy a buscar un ejercicio ahí, eh, o un mi par de ejercicios, los presento y... Ok, depende de ustedes. Ok. Ok. No more questions? No. No, so I think we're no going to stay over here, right? Nos vamos a quedar acá entonces y nos vemos mañana por la noche. Hey, God bless you. Okay, see you tomorrow, people. Good night, see you tomorrow. Okay. God bless you, everyone.